Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install stat tracking software onto your WordPress website so that you can see in real time who's visiting your website, how they're finding you, what keywords, what other websites they're linking to yours from, etc, etc. So what we're going to use is um, a program called statcounter.com. It's free and you can install a plugin through WordPress to uh, see the stats. So let's get started. I'm already logged into my WordPress admin, so I'm just going to go onto my dashboard. And to get this going, I need to go to plugins. StatCounter actually has a plugin that you can use um, to download right into WordPress, which is really nice. So I'm going to go to add new from plugins. And with StatCounter, when you run a search for it, it's one word. So don't do stat counter as two words, do it as one. Oops, two T's there. All right, so stat counter. And make sure that you look for the one that says statcounter.com. That's the one that you want to install. So I'm gonna choose install now and activate that plugin. Now once the plugin is activated, what you're going to need to do is set it up under settings. So if I go to settings and click on stat counter, now you'll see here it wants a project ID and it wants a security code. So what I'm going to do is set up a new account here in stat counter just to show you how it's configured. So from statcounter.com, choose sign up and then you can create your account. So what I'm going to do is utilize my domain name for the username and then I'll do my email address and my name and password. So now I'm going to accept the terms and choose create account. All right, now it wants my project URL. So that's just my domain name. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy that and I'll paste that in there. There we go. And I want my stat tracking to be invisible and you can have this email your reports. Um, for me, um, I usually choose none so that it doesn't email, re email reports because I can just log into the dashboard and see my stats, but you can have it email you monthly, weekly, whatever have you. So I've already got a project set up for this, but typically you would choose add project. And then when you do that, you need to simply grab your project ID and your security code. So for the purpose of this, I'm gonna go ahead and log in and take you to that screen. So I'm gonna log out of this one and then I will log in. <clears throat> All right, so once you log in, what you're going to do is click on this icon right here, this little tool. So click on that to get your configuration settings. So here you're going to see your security code um, and your project ID. There they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my project ID and that goes here. I'm gonna grab my security code and that goes here. I'm going to force invisibility because I don't want my stat counter to visibly show up on the site. I want it to be invisible. So I'll go ahead and update those options. Now let's say someone goes onto your website. So I'll just show you how this works. I'm just going to click on some different pages here. I'm going to browse around the site a little bit. Um, so just like somebody going to the website. If you want to see the statistics of who's visiting your website, all you have to do from your dashboard is roll over the word dashboard. Don't click on it, just roll over it, and then you'll see stat counter stats. If you click on that, then it'll take you to your screen where you can see who's visiting your website. You can see page views, unique visits, returning visits, and there's a whole bunch of wonderful information over here where they came from, keywords, all of this great information. It takes a while to get used to it and browse through it and figure out what it all is, 
but it's definitely worth it. These are real-time stats. Now, in comparison to, say, Google Analytics, Google Analytics, it takes some time for those statistics to get into this dashboard. Um, but whereas with StatCounter, it's real time. If somebody clicks on your website, you know, from California and they visit a few pages, if you refresh this page, you're going to see those real time stats come in right away. So there you go. That's how you use StatCounter.com. Enjoy and uh, come visit us for the next video. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to make backups on your website.